scrub one out. Stop. I'm cleaning the splines out. You're fucking gross. <laughs> it looks like you got a butthole finger. Well, I was oh, looking. Oh dang! I fell off the nut. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes so your girlfriend doesn't have to suffer with you. Yeah. <laughs> so suck it. Go fuck yourself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Less talking, more working. So we're nearing completion on the 480 swap on Uncle Rob. We're kind of on the home stretch right now. In the last video, uh, we modded the cross member. Um, I don't know if you watched that yet. You might want to go check that out if that's something you want to see. But in today's video, we are going to go over the transmission lines and Gus got the drive shafts in. So hopefully those fit. I took the measurements in a prior episode of this and had a local place um, make the shaft. They reused the front yoke from the old drive shaft, which was pretty cool. They came out nice. I think both of these total were $750, um, which, you know, hurts a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. You got to get two drive shafts. But today we got to get the dipstick tube in, um, do the converter bolts. And we also, first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull the transmission cooler fittings out of there. So that rusty, crusty looking thing right there. And that one up there. We need to pull those out so we can go get ones, um, the correct ones for the AN conversion. Because there's two different kinds of fittings. The older 480s that have both cooler fittings in the front um, use two of the same ones. Where I believe the ones with the split, the newer style case with one on the front and the back, uses a one that's inset more. It's got like a weird thing that comes off the back. So we're just going to take them out just to be sure. Are you having fun? <laughs> rolling around making all kinds of noise on trying to film stuff. Cool, you can film it and not put me in it. <laughs> we get two of those and race each other. That sounds yeah, dangerous. Win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys like these new hats? Good, I hope so. You can't buy one yet, but you will be able to soon. You can get these shirts though. The link will be in the description for that. So just got that one cracked. I kind of cut a wiggle a three quarter wrench over it um it's probably metric but this does the job well enough to get it to work so if my memory serves me correctly this will be the one that <laughs> you straight up just walked right into that pole i thought it was higher than it was <laughs> story of my life are you okay no <laughs> It, I hurt just watching. I hurt just watching that happen. It's like <laughs> I've been there so many times. You know, I should have done this before we put it in, but I forgot. Why don't we have it higher anymore? Why don't we just move it up so we don't hit our head on stuff? That's a good idea. Yeah, I think we don't have the transmission jack anymore. Yeah, that's true. Let's do that. Cool. <laughs> put it back down on the locks. Also, I made a blunder in an earlier video about the wiring. This is actually the input speed sensor, not the output one. So this will go on the front of the transmission, not the back. So minor, minor detail, haven't even plugged it in yet, but we'll get there. Oh yeah, this is much nicer. Yeah, see, Blah. this, this fitting has this weird thingy on it. So when you get an AN fitting, um, it's got to have that weird thingy on it, and it's got to be straight thread, not pipe thread, because pipe thread will go into the case, but it will crack it. So you have to have the straight thread with this O-ring base on it. So, uh, yeah. Let me pull out this other front one real quick, and we can save those for later. Head over to Summit Racing in the morning and get some of these that are the right ones. Oh, I thought there was like a bug landing on my head, but it was just the sound of this tape on my hat, and I was about to go freaking just start swatting and I realized I don't need to because it's just uh, just this tape here. Anyway, we're gonna open this box from Red Horse, check out these fittings. I couldn't find a razor, but I found this. And this was enough to slice the crap out of my thumbs the other day, so I know it'll open this box. I use Red Horse for everything. Um, all of the Escalades AN plumbing is from Red Horse. It is Awesome stuff. All their fittings are like black, at least most of them are. So you don't have to deal with the ugly red and blue ones. They're black and they're shiny. 
Oh, looks like you got some freaking hats too. Yeah, see, some of this stuff, um, this is not for translite, this is for some of the fuel system on here. But we do have the components in here for the trans lines to this dash six. And we'll be hooking this stuff up to this cooler right here, which is uh, from CSF Radiators. It's actually an oil cooler. And I got it for the Escalade because I thought I needed an oil cooler. Well, it turns out I didn't. So when the time came to need a transmission cooler for this, I was like, heck, let's just use this thing. And uh, Cole put this here. Suck it, Cole. Yeah, sweet. Lots of stickers. Gotta love stickers. Red horse. Some genuinely awesome people. Yeah, opening stuff in boxes is fun, but honestly, I'm procrastinating doing these convertibles because I don't really want to do them, but we're going to do them anyway because we got to do them. <laughs> what? Yeah, Goober. I know. I'm just throwing the dipstick tube in now, which is kind of hard to feed up in there. The transmission has to be hanging for it to go in. You just gotta get it. just the tube and the actual stick. It's not there yet. Okay, I think I got it on there. Yep, and then you see this little foot. This Go has a horrible glare. I'm sorry, it's annoying. Oh, good. See, that's what you're here for. Well, the dipstick is in, that's nice. I heard that the 480 uses the same dipstick itself as the 60. Not the tube. The tube is different, but the actual stick is rumored to be the same. So we will find that out in a little bit here. But now what we're dealing with is um, what kind of washers we're gonna need to shim the converter with. This is something that I'm not really that good at. I don't wanna to pretend to be an expert. I'm gonna to have to do some research, but I know that when you have movement in here, the converter will slide forward on this. Can you show that? No, I so it has movement. You don't want to suck it the whole way to the flex plate because you can pull it away from the pump in here. <laughs> suck it. And you don't want it to be buried in the pump because then as things move, you could shove the converter into the pump and junk that too. So you have to have some room. The way this weird pilot thing is, um, we're going to have to have washers in here because it won't go the whole way into the flex plate. So we just have to make sure there's an eighth inch of room, like an eighth inch of pullout from the pump, at least an eighth inch. And then we should be okay because that's, that's your margin of error to keep the flexion of everything from butting into the transmission and ruining it. Wait, what the fuck? To take it back out? No. Oh. No, we just have to, when we go to bolt it up, we just have to slide um, a washer or two into here Oh, to put the okay. bolt in and tighten it, yeah. I was about to be so annoyed. Oh yeah, I was no. Not doing that. No, again. we're not. We're not doing that again. I'm not doing it again either. Cause screw that. <laughs> Hell no. We need to find some washers. Okay. I found some washers. They're actually the the ones they use as shims from the Escalade. Um, we're gonna have to double them up because, um, as you can see, that that little pilot spacer we had to put in there, it doesn't allow the converter to fully seat against the flex plate, which really doesn't matter because we have to push it back out to have that eighth inch shim anyway. So we double both of these up and it will push the converter out enough so that it's not butting against that, uh, that hub either. Sometimes getting these in. Cut them on. Oh, I forgot. Safety first. Sometimes getting these in like doubled like this, it was a pain in the butt. So for the Escalade, I don't know why I didn't just weld them because I didn't feel like it, I guess. I hot glued them together and it worked just fine. <laughs> that's literally, that's, so funny. that's literally what I did. I hot glued these washers together. For these, it won't be too bad to feed them in stuck together like this, but when the Escalade has six freaking bolts, it was just a pain in the butt. So, well, I don't know. You guys can use your imagination. I'm just in here doing it right now. So now we get two more. Two more out of the Escalade bag. And I know we have enough of these because um, I didn't find them all when we pulled the motor. 
but I found some in the back of Elvis and I found some uh, that fell off at LME when they were taking my flex plate off and I have them in Elvis just in case we need them so now we're going to turn the motor over to the next hole can you tell me when it's there I don't know when it's there can you can you crank I'll tell you yeah okay crank it suck it Crank that soldier boy. You. <laughs> keep you going. Win, or are you gonna bitch at me when I go too far? <laughs> no, keep going. You're about an hour away. All right, stop. Right there. <laughs> she freaking hates doing that. Yeah, because you're gonna yell at me. I didn't yell at you. You didn't. <laughs> what? Like you yelled at me at Yellow Belly? <laughs> stop being a dick. Because I was nervous and you. Damn well no, then I knew not to fuck double bull them. And I didn't fuck mean to. I never drive your truck. <laughs> ever. And then I'm driving it, like, to do that. Like, I don't know the, like, I don't know when it's gonna, like, when your brakes are actually gonna fuck do something. I don't know your car like I know mine. Like, it's just one of those things. <laughs> well. Those people damn well know they're double bulbing, and they do it all the time. I don't know your car. Yeah, that's all true. So suck it. Go fuck yourself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being a dick, jeez. <laughs> I don't know how you can do this the first time, man. This is some tricky stuff here. Damn it. Good right. job. I got it. Oh, thanks. I dumped on it like it was a spider. <laughs> Good, it's dead. It is surrendered. We only gotta do this. <laughs> God, it's like your nose. Oh, That's nice. Funny. Do you see boogers in there? I don't know. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Check it out. Fully inserted. That's not the only thing I'm gonna be fully inserted. You're right, it's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted me to do that. So oh, it... Yeah, you can do that. Crank it. Make sure that the socket is fully inserted on the nut. <laughs> <laughs> Pro torque. Keep going. Keep going. About another hour. All right, stop. Wait. Yeah. Wait a little more. About another hour, bitch. At me. Well, I was looking. Oh at... dang! I fell off the nut. <laughs> just... That's why I was scraping the rust off. Let me do it next time. Damn it. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was freaking just, I'm under here doing stuff, <laughs> and she took this thing here, this old dust shield, and she's just over here like, <laughs> making a, making a freaking racket while I'm trying to do stuff. <laughs> like, damn. Get on there. You need some help? I think I got it. I just can't reach it to put it on fully. Oh, you, you had it, and then yeah. you took it off. Well, I think you can't see it. This rust is pinching my arm. Someone should scrape it off. Wow, oh, that. there's a piece right there. <laughs> yeah, you know okay, well, that, that's good right there. No, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, we need we need another converter bolt. Can you get two more washers out of there? The Escalade bag? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, converter bolt right here. I don't know why they have these Allens in them. Maybe it's just like your last ditch hope if you accidentally strip one, you give you a second chance. How many? Just two. Oh. Two, count them. Two marshmallows. It's from SpongeBob. Remember, we always comment SpongeBob quotes. That's what we do here. Leave your best one in the comments. Anyway, here, can you capture the insertion? <laughs> <laughs> there once was a very ugly barnacle. <laughs> It's so ugly that everyone died. <laughs> the end. <laughs> well, these nuts are still stuck, or these are almost still stuck together by hot glue. Actually, I think I just broke them. Good I just, job. I just busted Way them. Way to go. Yeah. You busted my insert comment here. Nut. <laughs> no, let them insert a comment. Oh, busted my what? Exactly. Oh, that one went in way easier. I'm getting pretty good at sliding it in, you know. Fool. You know this thing's just like some 
all the while they're out truck motor when you can turn it just by grabbing the freaking flex plate like a piece of pizza it just pff, turns the whole motor like i don't think i could do that with the 427 the compression's too high but we got this in now so we can actually get a ratchet wrench up in here and tighten these these converter bolts which means we can do the fun part where you have to turn it and then hold it oh damn it <laughs> That's your favorite. I'm gonna get that wheel. Oh, your your standing wheel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, are you gonna yell at me? No. Good. I'll try not to. <laughs> well, I only say I try not to because sometimes I just say things, but. I'm yelling, so. I'm sensitive, <laughs> not soft. I'll deck you, but <laughs> you'll still make me cry if you raise your voice. <laughs> no, there was this one time. You remember whenever you were picking up one of those EBC brakes boxes, and I was just like, uh, yeah. and it it was starting to rip and fall at the bottom. I didn't want the rotor to land on her foot. And she just freaked out and put it down. And what did what did you say? I thought there was a spider. <laughs> so you freaked out and threw it down because you thought it was a spider. And I'm like, I thought that you were freaking out because there was a spider on it, and you knew I was gonna freak out because there was a spider. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I, I just went like ah, uh, like I didn't have time to say something because I saw this box starting to rip. And she put it down, and after the fact, realized the whole spider thing. It was like, well... Yeah, I was about to throw it, but I knew it was expensive, so I didn't. So you're welcome. Well, either way, the point was achieved, <laughs> because I just went, ah, and she put it down. Whether she thought it was a spider, or I just saved her foot from getting smashed by a brake rotor. I just thought that was funny and worth mentioning. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that one right over there. EBC brakes. Good stuff. Those are actually for Uncle Rob. We need to do that at some point, which will be fun. No. <laughs> what? Go go about your business. No, you got a camera on. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> she was just going to town scraping. Nope. It, no, I actually see the point of doing that now, and I, I think it's a good idea, so. Yeah. Yeah, well, these are 15s. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to sneak it in when I'm not pointing it at you. Yep. Well, cool. Did I break it? No, that's your favorite thing. We have to keep it now. Mm -hmm. It was just the closest thing I saw that you wouldn't yell at me for <laughs> scraping on the bottom of the garage. <laughs> <laughs> now when I turn this, the motor is going to try to rotate that way. So can you hold it the other way? Like, hold it against this way. Yeah, like that. When I tighten this, it's going to go. It's not. Oh. <laughs> I'm pressing pretty hard. Yeah, it was dragging me on the thing. <laughs> okay, can you crank it then? We'll go to the next one. Um, are you bound up on something? <laughs> I'm concerned. What the fuck? The motor spinning. Oh no. What? The ratchet might have been between prongs or something. Try to turn it. What the heck? Babe, it's not going. Stop, hold on. You're shaking the whole car. I'm sorry. Is it in park, maybe? I don't know why it's not moving now. That's very weird. Something's hitting something. Oh, it's the freaking converter bolt sticks out too far on the pan. We can't use those bolts. Awesome. Damn it. Uh. Cool. Oh, okay. I was confused as to how, how we noticed that before, but the converter was pushed back. So the bolts were all the way in. They will clear when I put them in. I have to screw them all the way in before because when they're out you see what i'm talking about how it's not threaded all the way in now it's hitting that because it's not threaded all the way in 
it hits the pan. So as I put these bolts in, I have to thread it the whole way on so it's flush up against the flex plate before moving to the next one. Because what happened was when I tightened the one, it pulled the converter in and pushed all those bolt heads out to the point where it now hits the pan. Does that make sense? Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to you? Cool. Dora the Explorer stuff. I here. exactly you read my mind. <laughs> well, and this means I'll have to undo this. Wait, what? Unless we could just force the force it through there. I don't know if that'll work though. Oh man, this stinks. Either way, this stinks. Okay, that's exactly what the problem was. I just went and I kind of tightened them up little by little. I loosened the one that was all the way tight to the point where it could back up just enough to move the next one, but no more. And then I went through and I moved them all to that point and then I tightened them all down for real from there. So that prevented having to take all of them out to get that to work. But learn from my mistake. Thread that bolt the whole way in. Don't make it tight though, because that'll make it harder to line up the nut with threads in the hole in the flex plate, just in case there is some variance in the holes. Leave a little bit of slack so it's not tight. It can still like clang around in the holes a little bit, but you don't need, you don't need room for it to move back and forth because if you have long, longer converter bolts like I just had, you could run into the same problem. So learn from, uh, I would say our mistakes, but I made the mistake. She's just here helping me. Mm -hmm. Learn from my mistakes so your girlfriend doesn't have to suffer with you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's find out if the drive shafts we got fit. I said, these guys did a nice job. They cleaned off this crusty front yoke. They cleaned off the rubber boot. They put new clamps on it. Either that or they cleaned the old clamps enough to they look new, which either way, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just glad that they're like that. It looks nice. And uh, they even, for the old front shaft, they gave it back to me. And that was all cleaned off too. So they did like, they did a good job. But we're gonna want some grease for that. I forgot how crusty that hole was. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Look how crusty the hole is. Ew. Yeah, it's really, it. that there is a dry hole. Mm. Is it dry? Yeah. Not that dry hole. We don't want some dry hole. <laughs> we gotta lube that hole up. Are we going on an adventure? Yeah. Yeah, Charlie. It's going on an adventure, Charlie. <laughs> Logan doesn't know what Charlie the Unicorn is. No, I don't. You made me watch it though, it was weird. Did I? Yeah. No, I made you watch Charlie bit my finger. Oh, whatever. You never watched the Charlie the Unicorn thing. Oh, whatever, it's still stupid. She didn't know, she didn't know what Charlie bit you my finger You didn't know either. what South Park was. Don't even. I knew what it was, but I didn't You've watch it. You never watched it, There's yeah. a difference, there's a very yeah. clear difference. Whatever. Didn't know what South Park was. You have to be under a rock to know what it was, but to not watch it is a different thing. All lubed up. All lubed up. Uh, we're not gonna keep it in there because it's gonna be too hard to plug in all the other stuff, but I really just wanna know if it is gonna work. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. He's really gotta work it in. Oh. Yeah, I think we gotta spray some WD-40 in there. Cause those, uh... It's on the table. Those splines are really dry. Really dry. I also forgot that I wanted to take the drain plug out of that thing after we washed it, cause there was a little bit of water that came out in the oil. I never did that. Sweet. Yeah, hopefully it's okay though. I let it sit upside down. God dang, that's tight. There's some freaking crud in there. Oh man. Uh. I can't even get it out. Oh my god. Ew. Yeah, it's all brown. You can see all the rust. Crap, it came off of here. 
The spline's definitely deep enough. It's just like. Here, let's like rub it out. Let's rub one out. <laughs> yeah, let's rub one out. Stop. I'm cleaning the splines out. You're fucking gross. <laughs> it looks like you got a butthole finger. Cool. Hate doing that. I'm just thinking about how how tight the splines are on that. I'm kind of thinking once that gets shoved in there, I'm not really gonna wanna take it back out to do the other stuff. So I'm kind of thinking I should just plug my other stuff in and do it once. What, mm. do you, what do you think? Okay, then let's do it. Okay. Less talking, more working. Yeah, we don't need an extension cord for this anymore because these light outlets work. Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you, Mike. Uh, now there's a horrible glare again. Oh, now. It's not as bad. Oh yeah, nope. Can only film from this way. It's better. I can't even see you. You're hiding behind the pole. Well, okay, it's right now. It's fine. I need to put this plug, little connector boot deal back on here. Little wire shield elbow thingy, a diggy. I don't really know. Well, guys, I'll let you in on a little tidbit here. Um, that's not gonna take a rocket scientist to know that the Escalade's engine is not back here yet, and race week is in a month. So, I would say uh, that Uncle Rob is gonna be the race week chariot. Not, not I would say that I'm telling you, Uncle Rob's gonna be the race week chariot. Because I'm not going to throw the Escalade together at the last minute. To hope it works. It's going to be tested when it, when it comes out. Uncle Rob is going on race week. For sure. Did you get rust in your mouth? Yep. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, I'm like winded right now. Because... Of shoving those connectors in there with the freaking glue you know the ones we pulled off the range selector <clears throat> the rust in my mouth <laughs> um yeah the glue still on there makes it really hard to put in so instead of heating it up like a normal person i just kept shoving it and wore myself out so are you confident in your whole cleaning abilities yeah you, you i cleaned that hole really good <laughs> good let's see this little bit I guess you could say I screwed that hole. You screwed that hole? Yeah, I put a rag around that um, screw and like used it to clean it. Oh, yeah, you did it. You gonna take that off? Yeah, I just wanted to get it up there and make sure that it was gonna fit before we took it off because the tape keeps the end caps from coming off oh. and losing all the needle bearings inside there. Oh. And totally ruining your day, which has happened to me many, many, many times. So, you leave the tape on until you're absolutely ready to take it off. Oh. Yep. The more you know. Yep. Well, how about that? I measured it right because it fits. Yeah. Good job. Yay. You get all the cookies now. All the cookies. How many cookies can I have? 69. You guys want to hear a story? Okay, you guys are going to hear a story. Let's go, come on. You don't <laughs> want to hear a funny story? You can skip ahead. But I think, you know how we do the bonus material? I think I'm just going to start integrating bonus into the normal video. Well, how many cookies can I have? Um, back when I was, you know, like fourth grade or something. Me and my friend Austin were playing with playing PlayStation in the basement or something like that. And my mom had these intercom things, like the little the radio ones where you could kind of like put them in different places in your house and like talk in different rooms. Well, she had one of those down there so she could tell me whenever I needed to come up for school or whatever because my PlayStation was in the basement and she didn't like yelling down the stairs. So we're sitting there doing something and there's this awkward pause. And those intercoms, you know, you can signal different rooms or you can speak to all of them at the same time. My sister, who was 
probably like seven or eight years old at the time, she's a couple years younger than me, hit the wrong button for the intercom. And she broadcast to the whole house instead of just one room where my mom was. And I'm sitting there in this, this awkward silence with my friend Austin. And then we hear, boop, how many cookies can I have? From my little sister. And we both just looked at each other it just started laughing so hard like we couldn't freaking breathe and it never <laughs> it never ever went away i've known austin my entire life and we'll be 25 and 26 years old this year and we could still say to each other how many cookies can i have and just start laughing about it so it's just one of those one of those things then i told her the story and now it's it's a joke because i like making fun of dumb stuff my sister did when she was little sorry about that valerie Anyway, <laughs> back, back to the task at hand here. So that's what you go. How many cookies can I have? All of them. We have all the cookies here. Oh, I'm gonna put these on or Logan's gonna yell at me. Yep. Gotta protect your face, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. We have the same agenda here. I gotta find the drive shaft straps to the front. I forget where we put those. Ah, oh, yes, living among the crust. Feel like a piece of crust. I am a piece of crust. I am crust. the ugly barnacle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was just trying to make sure these are the front ones because I put the back ones back in the rear yoke. When this thing sees some power, it's going to explode. Look how freaking deteriorated that thing is. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's what we're here to find out. You're picking pieces off of that now, too? I picked the giant piece off and dropped it. Sweet. Weight reduction. Yeah. Get, get that rotating weight down. That's what we need. Okay, now let's see if the rear drive shaft will fit in here. Does it not need to be, like, lubed or something? Um, it shouldn't. That was a lot easier. Yeah. These U-joints have the clips. These little clips on the inside here. Huh. These are what keep the caps in instead of having little feet on the outside. There's two different kinds that do that. This has a little bit of stick out, but once it goes into the ground, it's gonna lose about, um, about a half inch of that if my measurements are correct. And then once it squats under load and things like that, it'll lose even more because it'll, the suspension will compress even more and shorten that distance beyond that even. After this, there's just the one more thing to plug in in the, uh, we need to plug in the output speed sensor now. And then the cross member, but I need the transmission jack for that and the um, the transmission jack is on the other side of the shop. They're using it for something right now. And it'd be really hard to wheel it over here with all these cars pulled in. During the day, they pull them all outside. So um, it'd be easier to run it over here and pop that in. And yeah, that's how you know it's when, it, when it's time to go to bed. I just spent about 30 seconds Spinning that the wrong way. Yeah, after this we're uh, we're calling it good. The there are times when I really don't want to work on this. Like sometimes I just don't feel like coming in here and getting covered in rust and sweaty and dirty and frustrated. And at the, in the moment, I may feel like that. And I realize that I'm an idiot because every day I get to wake up and do this. I could very well get to wake up and have to do the same thing, but not for a camera at, you know, some like dealership that I don't like working at or 
something like that or like even on a vehicle that's not mine at least if i'm gonna sit here and smash my fingers on things and get frustrated about being covered in dirt like i enjoy the fruits of that labor beyond a dollar figure i don't know i'm just it's easy to get used to the way your life is for anybody for anything if you think about it you think about where your life is now i think about five years ago it's probably a lot better now than it was five years ago if you know most people that's probably the case but that doesn't mean you still don't get frustrated about things in the moment that doesn't mean it's wrong but it also doesn't mean that you can't compare your in the moment frustrations and problems to what you wanted in the past because I'd be willing to bet the problems that you have now, problems that I have now, are problems that I dreamed I could have had years ago. And most likely the same for you guys. So next time you get frustrated or upset about something or you don't want to do something, just think about, was there ever a point when I would have done anything to be in a situation where these problems could occur? Let's have a little bit of different perspective on, on things. That's what keeps me here doing this, even when you may not always want to do it. Because if you zoom out far enough, you will find a reason that you want to do it deep down. There is my talk for the day. The drive shaft is in. Um, just trying to help you guys have a different perspective on life, life with cars, anything like that. I think that that's important to me in the kind of an aspect that I've been leaving out of my videos because I didn't think people would care. You know what? Now I don't care if people, um, I know if you made it this far, you have the mental capacity to understand this stuff, but a lot of people don't, they just don't. So I didn't do it to try to cater to those people. And really I don't want those people. I want you guys, the guys who, who get it. That's who I do it for. I don't do it for the freaking ones out there with one brain cell and just want to watch you blow stuff up all the time. That's not what we do here. We are here to learn and grow under the disguise of having fun at the same time. Didn't Mic mean, drop. I didn't mean to drop that, but I accidentally did. Anyway, how about that? The drive shaft fits. Both of them fit. That's freaking sweet. And you're not even good at math. No, I'm not. You measured that and you did it good. I'm so it. proud. I did it. I wrote it right here. I picked it up and I wrote it right here. Did you write it on your hand too? No, I didn't actually. Because uh, I called him. And um, had this cardboard in front of you? Yes. And then he wrote it down. And then when I went there and dropped him off, he had, uh, he had it written down still. So. Sweet. Take these with us to Summit tomorrow and get some new ones. Well, actually, I don't take them to summit. I just got to take them in the office and order the proper ones and then go pick them up tomorrow. But, yeah, you'll see the older transmissions have two of these. The newer ones have one of each. So if your 4L80 has the cooler ports, one in the front and one in the back, you need these ones. If it has two in the front, you need two of these. So there's that. Like the case in the Escalade is an older style one, and it uses two of these. Just your little tidbit of... Factoids there. God. I can't wait to take a shower. I feel like scum. <laughs> Do you have any parting words? Yeah, you can get this shirt at stapletonautoworks.com. <laughs> Suck it. Yep. Yeah. Suck the it. same one we're both wearing. Uh, these ones are not being reordered, these black ones. So whatever we got is what we got. We'll go in there and show you what's in stock right now so you can get a better idea. So this is literally all we have left. Um, we got a good bit of mediums. I don't know how many that is, like 10 or so, something. There's only one small left, no larges, but we have extra large, 2X and 3X. And 4X. We do have They're 4X? Right yeah. So we have 4X. I just couldn't fit them over there. Oh. I guess I could now since there's no large. Sweet. But. And uh, I got the, the staple flag shirt. Those are always in stock. They will be for, I don't know, eventually we'll change it, but that's kind of like the baseline, always gonna be there. Only one small Candyman left at all in the world. If you want a Candyman shirt at all, I don't care if it doesn't fit you, that's the only way you're gonna get one. That's it. 
and for hoodies uh, it's the same it's the same as the flag graphic there that you always see me wearing but it's on a hoodie not ordering any more of these either because obviously it's getting warmer outside but you still have you still have cool nights at the track you know fire stuff like that you guys up north i know down here in texas it's warmer but we still wear hoodies we have those in 3x 2x some xls left no larges two mediums a handful of smalls ten smalls, ten smalls. yes sweet we've had ten smalls for like a month now Small. nobody's buying smalls i'm the only small i think that we have yeah it's it's weird like you guys aren't small people i literally never replace small uh, my order 10 of a size and she ends up with three of them <laughs> it's funny how few people are small yeah. there is also a random shirt option we use that to finish off the last couple of like older styles because there's only a handful left we'll just take it off the website and use the random option you can save some money place the random order pick your size and you will get a shirt that has been on the website at one point that we probably ran out of or ran out of that you know just wasn't worth keeping on there taking up space on the homepage anymore that's how we get rid of those last few stragglers so you might get a transmission destroyer one you might get the candy man one you know you might get an escalade one we got all kinds of little knickknacks and stuff just have to see we also got sticker sheets these i never even say anything about these but they're pretty sweet they're like not um they're printed on good good vinyl not the cruddy stuff this will hold up outside the uh, same guy who does them for cooper and cletus actually prints these for me project prime he uses freaking good stuff i stick these on everything so you can throw that in there Literally, too look at the laptops your phone case ruger's cone of shame yeah they get stuck to everything and i've washed his cone of shame he pukes in his cone of shame like every time like like every day like multiple times a day and i have to clean it and it's like still on there <laughs> yeah see that that's your testament that was your, like testament he pukes on it and i clean it off with chemicals <laughs> and then it's fine it's still there there you have it stabledinautoworks.com the link is in the description uh logan handles all the packing and shipping herself so you get a handwritten note from her that i autograph too and if you use the tip function that goes straight to her for her you know due diligence of making sure your order is correct and getting you an awesome note with it so i know we've said a lot i tried to bring some value in these videos let me know if i have i don't know it makes me feel good to know i'm doing my job that some people actually care so leave a comment i read almost all of them and i like i like interacting with you guys i like hearing like heartfelt stories of improvement or realization it it fulfills me to see that stuff and you know it does because then when i see a cool one i'll take a screenshot and text it to her or i'll show it to you if you're not sitting next to me and you're probably like wow another one yeah i don't know I I... retard alert <laughs> <laughs> when someone says something really stupid and then we gotta make fun of you yeah <laughs> yeah you think you hurt our feelings when you say dumb stuff in the comments but we just sit there and laugh about it yeah it's funny you're yeah. actually stupid, and nobody gives a f that you took the time out of your day because you were that butthurt about something to sit there and bitch about it. Yeah, it's entertaining. Yeah, so. go change your tampon. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we will see you in the next video, which should be Uncle Rob moving around on the dyno because we're going to dyno test it uh before we upgrade the fuel system so <sighs> check out the uncle rob playlist if you haven't seen the other videos watch the project car episode join the facebook group called project car if you build the car it builds you back search it all that stuff blah 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 blah, blah. i don't know what else to say now so i'm just going to end the video we'll see you later <laughs>